Dude, I still see people say like, oh, I'm iridescent rank or I'm red ranks. You know what I mean? Like, like it means something. Like it shows that they know what they're talking about or they know how to play the game. And it's like, yeah, you don't, uh, you haven't caught on yet, have you? <laughs> you haven't, you haven't, you haven't got yourself updated. It sucks. Also, people thinking that rank reset means anything. Literally, the only thing rank shows is playtime. And the only thing it rank reset means is, oh, you got a, like 2 million free blood points. You know what I mean? Like, that's literally the only two things it means. It's pretty fucking pointless. But it makes sense why people get confused, right? Because it used to be rank. It used to be like a matchmaking thing. And also, any other game you look at, you know what I mean? Like, something that goes from, like, uh, like a, like a bad rank, like Ash, Wood, you know what I mean, stuff like that, to Bronze, to Silver, to Gold, to, like, a red, shiny thing, is usually something to do with your skill, right? Like, that's every other game ever, you know what I mean, like, pretty much, but in this game, it literally means nothing now, so it's just kind of confusing. Thankfully, they stopped showing it at the end of the match, but now it shows Prestige, which people also are going to maybe think means something. Hopefully they don't, but... but like, there'll still be people who post, like, oh my god, I play so much, I'm prestige... Or I I've played so little, I'm prestige, like, one, and I, I went against, like, a prestige 50 killer. And it's like, yeah, that guy's played a lot. Oh, his pig. He's probably very casual, and just plays occasionally, like, on the weekends, you know what I mean? Like, for the last, like, five years. That doesn't mean he's good, you know what I mean? It just means they play a lot. Like... Eekpeen, before they re otherwise don't realize they're wasting time carrying out rank. This is true. No matter what you like, what you do, people still think. I I'm starting to think this gen is like literally always here. By the way, I'm almost certain, like 95% certain, that that gen out there is always there. This one I wasn't sure about. I thought this one was random, but I'm starting to think it's always here as well. So these two are always here, which means that you basically need to do one of them. That people got to stroke that e -peen. Well, they stroke their own. <laughs> That's a pretty common thing. Leveling up isn't too bad, though. I mean, like, I've already gotten Ada to almost level 40, right? And that'll be Prestige 1. We didn't get a gen done before the first down. That's not good against Pick. Gives her a little bit of momentum to work with. And potentially be able to compete. So we'll see how this goes. So we've got three people on gens. See, this is the thing. I, I, I like. It's not that hard to be efficient as survivor if you have a couple info perks going on, right? Like I'm a solo. I'm going to assume these people are all solos as well. They could not be, but I now know that that gen up there is being worked on. This gen right here is being worked on, right? So now I know if those gens don't get finished, that they potentially have progress. And those are gens I should pressure, right? So even if they get off of them, I can get on them myself and keep the pressure on those gens to finish them. You know what I mean? Like, he's being chased. Ooh, that was bad. He's being chased. I can see because of the... Like, see, I'm already getting more info. This is no perk giving me this info as well. The obsession spikes. I know that he's being chased. I know that he was here, judging by his outline. And so I knew to get on this generator. Even if I was far away, I would have known to get on this generator. You know what I mean? So it wouldn't have aggressed that much. And also, I could finish it. And it's like, oh my god, these survivors are so efficient. They must be a swift. And it's like, no, they just understand the game. And they have a little bit of info perks going on. And I mean, this is all from one perk. Now I know to run over here, right? I don't know where the Steve is, but I know he has a trap, which means he's probably getting it off, right? And I know to run to this gen with Rebecca because she was working on it before. Although it's not got any progress left because it was regressing. We could see the sparks, so she kicked this. So, but she is here in this house, so we should probably leave. Although I don't know if she'll come up here because she's still chasing the Carlos. Because, again, I have info. I know she's chasing the Carlos. I know what the Steve's doing, so right now, with no perks, I know what all four of my teammates are up to, right? Obviously, one of them's with me. But I know what all four of them are up to. Like, people say solo queue's bad, but you gotta use your brain a little bit. It's not that hard. Like, just use the... Like, you're given the tools. You know what I mean? 
I know where he is right now, right? He's getting a trap. I know that he's getting a trap. I know where the killer's doing in all of this, right? He's picking him up. Steve got his trap off. He's now probably going to be looking to heal or do a generator. We got another generator finished. She's going to hook him. She has Tinkerer because she has no terror radius there. You can't crouch wall. That was bad. She didn't hear it, though. So she's not, she's not got her sound volume up very high. So Steve healed himself, so I know he hasn't been doing a generator. I just saw the Rebecca out the window, so now I know that she's running off. The killer's chasing her because it left here. He doesn't want heals, or he shouldn't want heals. Like, leave, bro. I don't know what he's doing. Does she have plaything? That See, more information that I can try and gather. Does she have plaything? You know what I mean? Because why wasn't he respecting her there? Immediately makes me think plaything. She's looking for me because... She wants to pressure me instead of him. She could have crouched, so I'm a little worried. But I'm going to hope that she walked this way. It's the only way she could have walked. I'm writing this down. Uh, where was that totem? It was back here. I'm going to destroy the totem because it might be plaything. Also, I like destroying totems, so I'm going to do it anyways. But, like, that's not normal play. Like, I mean, it could be normal play if he's not very good, but... I shouldn't assume that. I should assume that the survivors I'm playing with know what they're doing. Because MMR, right? So, um, I'm going to assume plaything. So, when I run now, I'm going to look for totems. Which I usually do anyways, because I like breaking them. But there's usually a totem that spawns in this back shack. It's not guaranteed, but... It's either inside or around the edges. Yep, there you go. So, we'll get two totems down. That gen's regressing over there, which is good. We know that she's not chasing the uh, Carlos. He got his trap off as well, which is good. Um, so, but we don't know where the killer is right now. We don't know where our two teammates are. So yes, we're out of info right now. We can see the Steve here. So we don't really know what he's been up to. I'm not really sure what he's been up to if he wasn't on this generator. Maybe he was getting chased and she split off. So we are out of info right now. But as soon as somebody gets injured, we have info again. Right? And killers give different amounts of info. Like, some killers give way too much info to the survivors, right? Like, Trickster. Legion. Um, Huntress. I mean, you can hear her charging up her hatchets if she fully charges them from across the map. So you know she's, like, throwing at somebody. You know what I mean? Although that's not too much info. Trickster and Legion are much worse. Uh, Clown. You can hear the survivor scream all the way across the map. Here she comes, so that's Tinkerer again. He's sticking it. Maybe I should have sticked it. Oh, he's just bad. Okay. <laughs> no offense, Mr. Steve. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe trapping him? Yeah. Although, should I body block this? Can I body block this? I'm gonna try, just for experiment's sake. Yeah, okay. I didn't think so. Rip, so close. Whew. Close one. Fair play. This is a god pellet, though. You have to break it. Yeah, okay. This will waste her time unless she goes around. Nope. I had to wait there and respect the fact that she might not go through the pallet or route. There you go, she went back to the gen. We can heal ourselves now. Yeah, that spin was lucky. A little lucky. Thankfully, she didn't hit it. She should have, though. That was on her, not me. I mean, it was on me to do it and do it well enough that there's a potential she misses, but it was still on her to make the mistake to miss. She didn't have to. I know she's chasing the Rebecca right now. The Steve got off the hook. He's going to be getting his trap off, so Carlos is off doing a gen somewhere. So we're in a very good position right now. Fuck's sake, I missed a skill check. I'm so bad. I should have hit both of those. It's like right on the edge. Our action speeds are too slow. Too slow. Um, usually I can hit those. My bad. I mean, I can hit the grates, which are smaller, I'm pretty sure. But... 
can't hit that. But I guess there's no fear of missing with the greats. Because if you miss, you just hit the normals. He got another trap, which is dumb because he's dead on hook, so she doesn't understand that. Carlos, I see Rebecca over there. He's going to hook here. Does she have Scourge? I don't think she does. I'll let go just in case. No. Yeah. Tinker again, which means that Carlos is almost done. Because this gen can't proc Tinker again, which means Carlos is about to be done. And she knows it. See, she's going after Carlos. I'll hit the overcharge this time, I swear. Let's go. We know that Carlos is almost done, but it'd be dumb for me to go over there and do that gen. Rebecca's injured, and I don't think she's doing much, but we know Carlos is going to get chased. if he's, he's hiding because he's not being chased yet. Even though we knew where he was. She's crouching up. You can see her through the car. But there's no reason to respect her, so I let her get closer then. But we know that Carlos didn't get chased, and he was on that gen, so he's going to finish that. I just need to survive for long enough. This loop's pretty pain for M1 killers, but... I don't know if I make it, actually, though. Yeah, she's pretty close, actually. I don't think I make it. Yeah, my bad. She's just gonna follow me, kill me. We can try and do these stupid window loops. I mean, there's a chance she catches me, but... Potentially. Use them. Nice job. I wasn't sure whether to fake that or not. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, fair play. <laughs> I feel like they might be a console player. <laughs> no, no, no offense. Oh, okay, probably a console player. Because they could move there, but they didn't turn their camera. They're doing the gate. I need to run away. Um, Carlos got hit. Where's the other gate? It should be over here, right? Yeah, there's... Oh, it's already open. Okay, I'll just heal then. Uh, if I can get a heal off, then I can body block for the Carlos. I don't know why Rebecca isn't body blocking right now. If she body blocked one hit, he might even be able to make it, honestly. Yeah, just body block. Yeah, we're good. We all escape here. The recovery time. Okay, we'll run back this way. <laughs> Oh, fuck's sake. I'm sorry, Carlos. My bad. My bad. I fucked it up. I can body block the hook, though. If I can make it there in time. Let's go. That was my redemption. Redemption. I saved him. Redeemed. Heal me. That was so close as well. Like, she would have almost had the space bar on her screen. Okay, go, go, go. Aw, oh, fuck, he almost made it too, rip. Okay, well, we can save him off the hook. She has to get so far to not get hit by 10 second DS. Or 10 second bar time. You don't make it to this hook either. Yeah, he gets out here. Guaranteed. The only thing she can do is drop him right here. If she doesn't drop him, he's, he's out. I think here should be good. Yeah, all right, we're out. GG. I'll do it properly this time, Carlos. Don't worry. GG. I did hard. <laughs> That's risky. <laughs> I mean, is it risky? I guess not. I guess not. GG. Whew. Redeem, though. Redeem. We got redeemed. GG. Uh, sorry, Carlos. <laughs> Almost got you killed. Oh, 
I fucking ran my life for that hook block. Like, I was trying so hard. I was like, can I make it? Can I make it? And then once I saw her go around the left, I was like, okay, I have to try going around the right. Otherwise, she'll block me. I gotta go around the right. And I made it just in time. Like, that was, like, literally... Like, she would have been so close to getting it. And I stood right in the perfect spot. Which isn't that difficult, to be fair, but... It can. You can mess it up. So. Nice. GG. Poor Piggy. Yeah, Pig just... She isn't strong enough, especially on a map like that. She just has too little going for her. Chases are too difficult as an M1. Also, they were on console, so... I feel a little bad with the spins and stuff. Like, with that flashlight blind as well, like, she had time to look up. Like, she was... Because she was moving, right? Um, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I might be wrong, but if you watch it back, I'm pretty sure you can see her move right before she gets blinded, which means she had time to look up, but if you're on console, that's more difficult, you know what I mean? I mean, I guess you just flick the stick up, you know what I mean? But... I mean, anything on a controller like that sounds pretty annoying. GG's, though.